Hi, this is Lynette, and I'm talking about my new Craft and Go. I want to thank Cynthia from Craft and Go for helping me get um, my Craft and Go and helping me through um, a couple, a few little problems. So, um, I'm not a minimalist, as you can see. I've got my paints on the back wall and I've taken some duct tape and covered the magnetic sheets. Then I saw on um, Facebook when I put in Craft and Go, somebody had put one of their magnetic sides to the side and they had put star blends on them and I just thought mm, I don't think I could the way I use star blends um, so fast at a festival I couldn't do that but I thought well I would put my stencils there and I went and ordered three sets of a hundred magnets the magnets are really great they're very strong, they're small, and I went ahead and had one magnet to each stencil, and then I decided to go ahead and put two magnets because of it being on the side, and um, if like for say example, I was in a hurry and I was tired, it was after a gig, and I had my track um, stencil and it fell on the ground I'd just be so sad because that's really uh, a very important one to me and it's long with my flames so I'll look at the other side which um, has some more stencils and I went to Walmart and I got a like it's a TV tray but then I also went and got an extra magnetic board that you would see on sale um, during school starting and I covered it with duct tape. One of the things I love that I saw on the internet um, many many years ago was the popsicle stick um, holders that are uh, right here and I use those for brush container um, holders um, and then another lady on YouTube had a small ballot box which is right here that could be used for chips and I can insert it if I wanted to right here but normally I work with a very large um, Alhambra water huge bottle that I put my tips in. Uh, the next thing I want to talk to you about is that I took this magnetic board and I hinged it with masking tape. I've seen people turn it to the side, to the right or the left, and I just um, took some dollar store cardboard and reinforced it, and this is what I have underneath. I have my star blends. Um, uh, Denise Cole was really wonderful how she put um, her star blends in other containers, and that's what I did right here. They're um, in, I think I went to Just Paint and got um, some small little containers and I um, put it that way. And I like it, but every once in a while, you know, I really appreciate having, especially for Spider-Man, um, just the large um, non... Um, um, already shredded star blends. I have my brushes. 
I use lots and lots and lots of brushes. Um, I like it because, um, so if I use like a star blend and I take a brush and I use a rainbow, I put it back into the can, um, popsicle holder that I have right here and it's ready to go for next time. I know a lot of people use their water containers and they use a little bit of bath soap by um, Silly Farm. Hello Heather. And let's see, I put my camera right here. I have the lights that um, Cynthia gave me. I'll turn those on and right there I have those lights flashing. But then I also found some lights um, at Target and um, those are these right here. They're not as nice and they don't always, I have to jiggle them to make them work. So I had planned to put these little these little lights um, on the back side of the kit. Let's see what else can I tell you? Um, I used um, I bought some containers from Craft and Co, but haven't used them yet. I just didn't want to have to repot um, repot them, so I've used these. Many, many years ago, I found these. I know that I see people on um, Craft & Go um, other videos talk about their um, using bead containers. And like right again, right here, I've used this bead container for other of my, like my Ben Nye's and I just love them because they fit right into that. And I said I've probably been using that for maybe about 10 years. Um, so this is what's inside. And I don't really um, expect to be opening this little shelf too often, but it is reinforced. And then again, here is this star blends and they've with the <sighs> um, duct tape it keeps them all really nice in a row and then I've taken um, some little applicators they've really changed probably in the last 10 12 years they used to be a lot more um, thicker and better but I took uh, magnets from Walmart and use those to put those on the magnetic thing. Well, several years ago also I was at the dollar store and found this little container um, that had um, some little cotton pads in it and some q-tips. And so now I put my q-tips, um, some bobby pins and a spray bottle and I also have another spray bottle that I found at Walmart that had hydrogen peroxide in it. And sometimes I'm always losing my spray bottle, so um, I have that there. Got my petal sponges. I've got, um, went to Michael's and got some Marie, um, Martha Stewart um, little you uh, things that I use for stencils as far as um, white paint, dark paint, and uh, little emoji, little round faces. And I have put uh, magnets on the bottom of those. And I guess that's just about it. Again, I really enjoy my kit. It looks extremely, extremely heavy. And but it has wheels on it and I also have a van that has a lift on it so I just use that and then I happen to have also a small dolly and since I had it I like to put the craft and go on the dolly just so that I don't hit as many bumps 
So that's what I have to say. I'm really, really happy with my Craft & Go. Um, I did order it with um, as many uh, metal pieces as I could get. And um, if I had to do it maybe all over again, I would maybe um, change the how I put the metal things on the side. But I'm super, super happy with it. And um, it is an investment, but I love it so much. And thank you for watching.